Vaping and smoking are two methods of consuming nicotine, but they differ in the way that they're consumed. Vaping involves inhaling vapor from an electronic cigarette or other device, which typically contains a liquid mixture of nicotine, flavoring, and other chemicals. Smoking, on the other hand, involves inhaling smoke from burning tobacco. Nicotine is the addictive substance in both vaping and smoking, but the delivery method and the amount of nicotine delivered can impact addiction potential. Nicotine is more rapidly absorbed in the bloodstream through smoking than through vaping, which may make smoking more addictive. Studies have shown that the nicotine in cigarettes is more rapidly absorbed into the bloodstream than the nicotine in e-cigarettes, leading to a more intense and immediate hit of the drug, which may make cigarettes more addictive. This rapid absorption of nicotine may lead to a stronger addiction to cigarettes than to e-cigarettes. However, vaping has its own unique risks, such as the use of flavored e-cigarettes that may be more appealing to youth and teenagers, leading to a higher risk of addiction. The use of flavors in e-cigarettes is a major concern as it can attract young people to start vaping and get addicted to nicotine. The use of flavors in e-cigarettes is a major concern as it can attract young people to start vaping and get addicted to nicotine. These flavors can mask the harsh taste of nicotine and make vaping more appealing to young people, increasing their risk of addiction. Additionally, smoking cigarettes also exposes users to a wide range of harmful chemicals and carcinogens, while vaping liquids typically only contain a few ingredients. This means that smokers may be at a higher risk of developing smoking-related diseases like lung cancer, emphysema, and heart disease. Vaping can also cause harm to the lungs and can lead to lung injury, known as vaping-associated lung injury, which can include symptoms such as cough, shortness of breath, chest pain, and fever. Nicotine addiction can also cause other health problems, such as cardiovascular disease, obesity, and diabetes. Nicotine addiction can lead to an increased risk of heart disease, stroke, and other chronic health conditions. In conclusion, both vaping and smoking can be addictive, but the addiction potential can vary depending on the delivery method and the amount of nicotine delivered. It's important for individuals to carefully consider the potential risks and benefits of both vaping and smoking before making a decision and quitting smoking and vaping is always the best option for your health. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.